make a shop here. I'm gonna explain something about. I've been looking on eBay. I've been on eBay. I've been looking all over on YouTube. Now, these are regular Velstims, you know. When you see tire, usually they recommend changing them as long as your Velstims are pretty good. And you stick for pliers. Well, first you pop, you break the old one off, and then you have the rim like it is. Then you pop this one through and put like a little tool and you can pull it right through and lock itself in. And I'm gonna show you the difference between a screw on valve stem that is made for a three quarter ton and a one ton. When oh, they recommend using them. Because you go to my dad's truck here, this he does for cut rattle. Same diff. It's got one of them in it. Now, I'm eating my daughter's candy for Easter. <laughs> <laughs> it works. It's good stuff. And I don't know if anybody's ever. I looked around on YouTube. I couldn't find anything to show how people do this kind of stuff. Now you gotta know your history. You gotta know your. Uh, good. You do your research. And these are what the screw-ons look like. Pretty cool, huh? And my rims. All four of them say this right here. Now, you might ask, okay, Nick, why do the uh, screw ones have to be on the one ton and three quarter ton? Why is that? And why not the three or uh, half tons? Well, half tons are basically like my dad's truck and my brother's car. Um, because, try and find it here. If you look on here, And you just look, these tires can hold up to 3,042 pounds, or 3,042, whatever. Um, this is why you need to screw on false them, because it holds up to 80 PSI. And say like, you have a normal valve stem, you got a trailer behind you, and you're hauling, and then I'll sign this blows out. You're doing 55, 70 ish on the freeway or whatever we're at, where you're at. Okay. Well, if this pops off and the tire goes boom, you're going for a ride. You might get lucky. You can stare out of it and keep relaxed. If not, have it buzzed the front and you don't catch in time, you can crash and either hurt somebody, kill someone, or hurt yourself, kill yourself, or whoever you got with you. This is why they recommend the screw-on for the three-quarter and one ton. Because these do not come out. They screw on, and that's it. Um, let me see here, here. Like I said, all four tires match. He's got about 55 PSI right now in him. And that's why, eh? Use tires, but they're like brand new tread. But the only thing that sucks is this weather crack. That's it. But the good, good tires. Now, if I go my brother's truck, he's got them too. I think he's in the garage. Into the dungeon. What's up? Oh. Here's his truck. The screw on valve stems. And they have to be LT 235 on a three quarter or one ton. Uh, half tons don't have the LTs. And let's see, where's his PSI rating at? Made in USA. Okay. I find a PSI. PSI? I found it on a Spurban. Because mm -hmm. I see it up here, uh, I've seen it's made in the USA, but I don't see anywhere it says PSI unless it's at the bottom of the tire. Like right here. Yeah, it's probably at the bottom of the tire, so. It? No, it's still rolling. 
Same thing, bottom of the damn tire. Okay. Well, I can get the jack out. Yeah, right here on the side. Okay. 80. 80? Just like the Spurman then. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. These are newer, but yep. some are PSI. Well, I run about 50. But, see? That's the difference. The screw on. Now, we have a set of screw ons around here somewhere. Yeah. Oh, is that what your video doing? Mm -hmm. I've been oh. looking around on eBay, and, or not eBay, YouTube, but YouTube? nobody shows you the difference between the regular valve stem, like the Nova Death Truck oh. has, compared to a three quarter or one ton. Now, half okay. tons don't really matter because they don't have them. No. Because half tons don't have LT tires. Only LT tires have is the one ton and three quarter, or gotta three quarter, have, one ton. Got to have those uh, screw on tight. Yep. Unless you're building a rock crawler, rock crawlers use. Oh yeah, rock crawler, I forgot rock crawling also uses the, those as well, because they run low PSI and high PSI. I bought these at Walmart. I think I paid like 190 something a piece. With balancing and putting them on, about 200 bucks. But when I was getting the new ones, I had the old, well, the old ones on there and it was cracked real bad and the guy goes, can't use those old ones. Mm -hmm. well, what do you mean? They're cracked and everything. You can leak. So I go to Napa, pick up four of them for like 11 bucks. Yep. Which ain't bad. Okay. Oh. oh. Because if you got 50 PSI, what happens if you have regular Velstam in there? It's up. gonna boom. Pop right out of there. Okay, here's some different types. We'll get to that one later. I'm glad so you're yeah, doing Yeah, some eyes and also mm -hmm. dump trucks and stuff. They use all kind of stuff right there. In military vehicles as well. They use them as well. And also, um, what do you call it? The Banks trucks. This, this, armor. this valve stem is older than us. <laughs> but, yeah, you put the valve, put the valve stem in. You put, you turn, whoops. I lost my nut. <laughs> then uh, you put that in the rim, you tighten it down, and it locks as your seal. Yep. Just like how that is. Now, I can show you guys. I, I bought the upgraded version, but if you're running dualies, this is for a dually rim, but we have some extra ones. Six bucks at the grandpa's store. But if you got like a half ton truck, like he's saying, that's what they run. Do not put those in a C30, a C20, because. The, the valve stem. Look Just imagine if you have 50 psi and this, and it shoots out like that. You drive down the road. Cause I tell you something, we did that on the suburban. These rims came off the suburban, and I got my ass chewed out for running these. <laughs> yeah, the guy at Walmart chewed your butt out good. He goes, "You're trying to kill yourself." I'm like, "No." He goes, "That's what's gonna happen because you're you got a uh, C20," and I'm like, "Yeah." And Ooh. anything over 55 mile an hour, if you got weight in the back, that thing will pop out and fucking kill you. Like, Especially the trailer. If you have a trailer, that'd make it worse for you. Or anybody else around you. Oh. You want, hey, you want some of the old tires? I am. Dad's, uh... Uh, what year was that truck? Green truck. 76. 76. If I can get back in there. I know, I got a mess. So if you want to pause it. I ain't pausing shit. Oh, okay. I know, Mike. I got a thing on my... No, here we How you like my uh, my seat for my cup cadet? It's for my original. <laughs> Man, that thing is beauty. Oh, I haven't showed anybody since then. But no. okay. these are old. These, these tire. These are snow tires. Yeah, that had those on his '76 spin truck. When he bought the truck new. Yeah. And as you can tell. Oh, look at that. These are original to the rim. Yeah, these are. They're both like that, and also my dad's spare tire back there too, as well. They all have it. I think. Hey, yeah, what's up with the spare tire? Here, I didn't use the phone. You can try to see in there. It's a little dark, Nick. Well, you can see a little bit. That one there, and the spare tire off dad's 87s back there too. Oh, right here? Yep. Yep, right there. Ta da! So I feel sorry for this will help anybody uh, understand, I hope, because there's some people out in this world that think they're know-it-alls and cocky little craps, but you know what? 
get up the car. Like I've seen this one guy I watched in his uh, videos. He's doing an LS swap in his uh, Chevy uh, half ton. And it thing looks gorgeous. But he goes, for anybody who doesn't do their, like, learn their history or do the research, and then you get out their butt off the cell phones and get out there in the world and explore it. But he means, like, do your research and everything like that there before you open your mouth. There, there is none on these. Hey? Nothing. Well, I guess I'd be the first. Yeah, the first one. So, hope you guys like this video. Hope you guys uh, enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up. Someone and someone the hood? Yeah, someone eat the hood. Oh, good. You can show them the, the stuff I got then. What stuff? Okay, good. You can see it then. Oh, I think I did. Okay. Um, so, like and comment, and hope you guys like my other video I did, and see you guys next time.